Okay, so here we have an issue where the stamping didn't go quite as planned. So this customer, this lovely customer, asked me to remove it so she can re-stamp it. So I'm gonna use the 120 grit in ceramic. The 80 grit would have been preferable, but I can't find it. Story of my life. So you're gonna hold it right here and grind it down. scenario hold on that's good to show that yeah. uh, edit cut and edit <laughs> no I won't cut and no, edit I'm just unedited but that's all that happened I didn't even twist it on okay, so either way to even this all up but instead of using the oh god now it's on super tight instead of using the purple which can be a little you know unforgiving rough so I would suggest kind of using our new core scotch bright because this comes from the same family of if you're accustomed to the scotch bright wheels or magic erasers if you will and this will kind of work a little bit more aggressively but still blend metal like I was mentioning I don't want to thin out her bracelet. So I'll just hold it here. And it's more aggressive and it's going to blend the metal. So nice and smooth. Do you see that? It's really nice. Yeah. This way we won't be taking off material, but yet get a nice even flow. We won't be taking off too much material. jaggedy of the 120 grit versus the smooth consistent finish of the scotch bright that's what I'm talking about so like right here to touch up with the magic eraser in a fine 
If this was a really crisp finish, then I would opt for the medium, but for the most part. And now it makes the job of the fine super easy. So I'm just gonna glide over it really, really quick, kind of blend it in with the red. Just work it really, really nice. Kind of get those scratches out. And you see how it like wants to fill in the porosity that's there? Oh, it's wonderful this wheel. Paper and emery paper. Oh my God. Look at this. Like it's almost posh, but look at the fluidity. Like look at how the light follows it. You can never do this on your flip phone. Okay, so we have a little pit right there. I don't know if the camera can see it. So I'm gonna hold it there and allow the scotch right to. Uh, blend the metal see it without thinning out the piece. So we're going to hold it there a little. Kind of see what happens. Yeah. Try to get rid of it. Doesn't seem to want to go away. It's a deep one. It is, but look, it's still like uh, it's kind of gone away it's not as deep but if you go back and work it but what's nice it didn't thin out the, uh, the bracelet yeah it's gotten thinner that little weasel So from here, let me just finish this. We're going to follow with the felt wheel. And again, her regular pit of mess. So just clean that up. Wonderful. And so right here we have a nice fluid finish. Let's get my fingerprints off of that. And it's ready for a high polish. Some people would say, wow, this is pretty polished. And I'm going to use the felt wheel with my polishing compound. We're almost there. Hang in there. Let me get my polishing compound. So this is my Jewel Tool Rouge. So what you're going to do is you're going to, again, inch your way. So don't just do the whole thing in one shot. Just hold it there and you'll get high polish finish just like this. Yeah, super fast. Keep that handy. I know, right? Full service, baby. Full service. Beautiful. Got that done. Yeah, so if your lines are going in one direction, you know, hold the bracelet in slightly a different angle. So if they're going straight, kind of tilt it just like this and kind of go against the... Uh, hold on, I'm trying to get that little... Oh, it's pretty good. That little porosity that we said is a deep hole. I want to take a look at that porosity that we had said was a deep hole. It's kind of almost gone. So that's why I was working on the edge. So try not to work too much on the edge there. But I really want that porosity to be almost gone, and it is, which is nice. See it? Yeah, I know, right? I'm anti-porosity. Okay, so yeah, wow. Right? And there we go, we're almost done. Yeah, this could have been an all-day project for somebody. We're just begun the Tucson show. But this is live scenarios that people go through on a daily if you're a silversmith and want to change your look up a little. There we go. 
So, let's take a look at what we did. Let me take some pictures. Those are my fingerprints. So just ignore those. And you can just grab like a nice little cloth if you find one. I don't know. Yeah, thank you. My handy cameraman. But just so you know, like it's not that dirty. Like look. Like really. It's not as dirty as you would think. Like if you had worked on a regular buffer. There. There you go. And look, look at the thickness. Oh, here. Oh, oh, look at the mm -hmm. So, like, just look at the thickness. You know, it's not like we have spots that are flat. It's just a nice, consistent thickness and we didn't take off a lot of her silver mm -hmm. same on the other side these are all important factors that need to be considered when grinding off lettering you know as a kid i used to screw up engraving and had to regrind it and i would always be left with you know uneven surfaces because i would be using a fordham but i just really want to emphasize look at the fluid finish no more suffering. Okay, so this is live from Tucson. Hey, this is yours. Don't yeah. be hiding. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Incredible. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get my new polishing machine. It's going to save me a lot of time and aggravation, especially. Yeah, I know. Aggravation. Because I do a lot of metal stamping. And if you're just a little up on one letter on a $35 piece or a $100 piece, and you're like, oh my gosh. Gonna be doing it, yes, and you know, that, I didn't think of that. this is amazing. Yeah, you know, for I metal never stampers. That for the metal yes. stampers. So if you're a metal yes. stamper out there and you did a little boo boo, yes. you know that a jewel tool can fix your boo boo. Yes. I never and thought of I that. Know. There you go. We learned something today. <laughs> Think about metal stamping when you throw away your disc. And it's like, oh, I gotta get another one out. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> this I never is beautiful. Of that. 